Hey guys, back again with you today. Got another a firearm to share with you. Uh, this firearm was given to my grandfather by his father, and uh, my grandfather's letting me borrow it here just to kind of do some cleaning on it and shooting it. Hasn't been done in a long time. So, uh, what you're looking at here is a 1943 Mauser HSC and 32 ACP, and it is a fourth variation of the Mauser. Uh, this is a wartime bring back from World War II. That's a pretty pretty common trophy for World War II bringbacks. Um, I don't exactly know how how my uh, grandfather's father got it. Um, it does have the name Bill on this side and Dot on this side, and those aren't names from our family at all. So uh, would have been previous um, owners of the gun, I guess. Uh, it is a pretty neat, neat little gun. It is made by Mauser. Has the Mauser logo right there. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that or not. I'll try to get as much light on there as possible. Uh, we also have, uh, it says Mauser Work A, I believe, W E R K E A G Obendorf A N. Uh, it does say Model H S C, and then K A L for caliber 7,65 millimeter, um, which is also that 32 ACP. Uh, if you ever get one of these guns, you're, you're wondering about the serial numbers. It does have the full punched serial number in the front of the magwell there, as you can see. You'll also find uh, the last three digits of the serial number electro-penciled on the bottom of the bolt, and I'll show you that once I break it down, as well as the underside of the, um, uh, the underside of the bolt and flat part of the slide under the muzzle, which is also being covered here. So. Uh, once I break the gun down, maybe I can show you that a little bit closer. Um, but the markings that you'll have on the side here are pretty common for all the models. They're all pretty standard. Um, when you get this, you also kind of want to look at the left and right hand side of the trigger guard uh, for the particular proof marks. That'll kind of give you an idea of the age of the gun. Uh, there is a great reference out there already online to be able to show you with your um, serial numbers what age your gun is. Um, but on the left hand side of the trigger guard what you'll have, and this is going to be very difficult for you to see, uh, is an eagle with a 135 under, underneath it. It's uh, an acceptance proof mark. Uh, on the right hand side you'll have the um, German eagle, uh, or Nazi eagle I guess, with an N punched on the bottom side of it. And that's the uh, firing proof I, I guess of the weapon. You'll also find that exact same proof mark on the front of the uh, slide right here. Uh, this one has been worn away pretty well, so you're not able to see it really good, uh, but there should be one there as well. A little bit about the gun. Uh, this particular gun is, uh, as I mentioned, uh, 32 ACP or 7.65 by 17 millimeter Browning. It is a double action, so you do actually have the exposed um, hammer there. As you can see, you're able to cock it. Uh, it doesn't protrude very much, which is kind of a neat feature of this gun, so you're able to still have that, that hammer action um, or the, the single action of the gun, uh, but still not have a whole lot of exposed hammer there. Uh, so a, a real nice pocket carry type weapon.
Um, un weight unloaded is 600 grams. Length of the weapon is 152 millimeters. And barrel length is 86 millimeters. It does have an 8 round capacity. Uh, this weapon has been safety checked prior to the video, but I'll just pop the magazine out here for you. As you can see, just a standard stainless steel magazine. Uh, without this magazine, this gun is pretty much useless, as, as far as I can tell. And the main reason for that is because once you rack the uh, slide back like that, uh, there's no way to, to get that slide to move forward at all. There's no levers here, no release buttons at all whatsoever on the gun. The only way that you can actually get this slide to move forward again is inserting the magazine, loaded or unloaded, uh, which once you see as I push it in here, releases that slide forward. So kind of an unusual system. I've never really seen that with an, a semi-automatic pistol. I'm not sure if there's any other pistols out there that have that. There could be, but uh, kind of an unusual little thing about it. Um, the gun is real nice. It is fairly accurate up to, I'd say, you know, 30, 40 yards at most. Uh, out past that, it's, it's really not much more accurate than that. And I'm sure that comes down to the 32 ACP round. Uh, breakdown of this gun is, is fairly easy, uh, which is surprising for the age of the weapon. A lot of times these guns uh, um, are not as easy to break down as you'd like them to be. But once you remove the um, magazine, what you can do is um, put your hammer down to full cock there. Um, should be able to put this into the safety then at that point. Uh, and then you should be able to, uh, on the inside of the trigger guard here is a little button. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that there, probably not. Maybe right there you can see it. Uh, there is a little notch cut into the trigger guard there. And really all you got to do is use a screwdriver or your finger or something. Put a little bit of pressure on that and the whole top of the gun comes right off. So really simple, which is um, kind of neat for a gun of this age. Uh, so you have your lower receiver uh, with all your trigger assembly and all that good stuff in there. Uh, and then you have your... Uh, slide and this is pretty uh, common for a regular uh, any other semi-automatic pistol uh, what you have in here is uh, your uh, barrel and then the spring another neat feature of this gun is that the spring actually is on the outside of the barrel all right to reassemble the gun it's fairly easy just as easy as taking it apart uh, just go ahead and stick your spring in, around your barrel go ahead and put everything kind of down inside this, uh, the slide there this can be very difficult at times. What you've got to kind of do is just uh, get it to the right position where it does want to just slide back down into the original position it was in. Uh, you may need to use a, an additional tool to get it down in there, give it enough pressure. Uh, sometimes it's a matter of getting the front of the barrel into the actual placement of the, the slide muzzle. And as you can see there, I kind of got it. You can kind of see it, it, it actually fits. Um, into that that opening there of the muzzle so you just kind of have to be able to get the spring in there somehow and then eventually uh, it should be a matter of just pushing it down into the original position it was in like that uh, once you got everything kind of assembled there what you're able to do is real simply put this right back on just forward of the full um, original position and push down and backwards a little bit pops right back together at that point the gun is reassembled and what you can do is test it make sure it works looks like it does and uh, go ahead and test the action trigger everything seems like it's working so uh, pretty cool little gun like I mentioned uh, Mauser HSC 1943 fourth variation um, if you guys have any questions feel free to let me know otherwise uh, hope you enjoyed and thanks for your time